that's, that's bizarre. <laughs> has got to move out there Probably. even those who can't dance i'm sure have <laughs> got some moves you know that was really cool good evening everyone it's okay to always start with some moves to start with something to freshen you up before you go to the real thing you know yeah i'm nancy my name is minaya nancy with my friend here tina presenting to you the mc <laughs> live this, in action yeah live live yeah, in action <laughs> Uh, this Wednesday, it's always at 5, from 5 to 6. Please feel free to join us. To join us every Wednesday and the Sunday summons on Sunday from 10 to midday. You can join us on our YouTube or Facebook, uh, Facebook, The Christ Life. Then uh, YouTube, The Christ Life Church. Please feel free to join us and to do the dance moves we do too, you know. For the first time, do things for the first time. So, you know, so this dance is called Squanto. Just put your hand behind, keep it cool, okay? Don't kick a soft fan, don't kick a sofa, just be still in your space, just in your small yes, space. Yes, 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 yes. Tina. Did you have atapa like yesterday? The the color, you know, the it is what color. It looks so energetic this <laughs> this Wednesday. No, I didn't. Did you have a booster? No, I didn't. Okay, that's this is cool. natural. This that's is from from my heart. Okay, this is me. The Christ energy. I can Amen. feel the Christ energy. <laughs> that's really cool. Um, so please tell people, tell people how you feel to be doing this for the first time. Because you know, at Christ Life, we do things for the first time. She's doing this for the first time. Yes. Joining me in to usher in the MC. Mm. Woo! Hey. How do you feel? Hand clap for <laughs> Tina. <Woo. laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. She's doing it for the first time, but it's cool. And she, I'm sure you feel great. 
about it. Actually, I do feel nervous. I know that's yes, normal. Yes, but you yes. should overcome it. That's why we had to start with the dance, you know. That's why I had to start with the dance to freshen up and mm. get into the the yes, mood, you know. Yes, I feel alive. It is my first time, but if you look at me, that's like my first time. I can see. Actually, actually um, probably um, this is in spirit. This is in front of a mirror. But I'm glad <laughs> it's working. It's working. Hallelujah. It's working. Yes, <laughs> Doing it physically, yeah. Not, not speed. <laughs> Don't waste power, just <laughs> spirit pride. Meditate on it. Okay, we meditate on, uh, on the beat. Uh, 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 uh. You, what do you feel me? I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> so what was that question you were going to ask? Uh, okay, I just wanted you to tell us about, about Christ life. What, what do you know about Christ life? Mm. Your life experience here. Mm-hmm. I can see you are already live. This is how the Christ life people look. Yes, so like this. So, yes, so yeah. please tell us. How do you feel that uh, you're here with us? You joined the Christ life. You being here with the people here. Your first time. Share your experience with people that are watching. Yes. So my first time here, I I just came by. I was okay. actually not on an official attire. I was on a hood. <laughs> Which attire was it? <laughs> I'm not saying it, but it okay. wasn't. So, but I love that place. I walked through the door, the usher and Esther were so calming, and when it was also very well coming, I felt at peace. That's our nature. It felt like everyone wanted to hug me, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. the Christ life nature. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I loved um, the presence of um, people who were my age. That means... And I remember seeing her for the first time, she had made cake. Wow. And she was my... I just looked at her. Huh? You know? I look like egg, you know? <laughs> yes, uh-huh. she makes egg, but I loved everything. Mm. I loved the atmosphere, I loved the pasta. Yes, the way they play the piano is so heavenly. I know. I felt it. I you know, know I love music and I love everything about the piano. Mm. So I don't have to play it, but I know one or two. Uh, you, you can't really judge me, but I know if I play for you right now, you think I know properly. Really? So, yes. <laughs> yes, I feel at home here at Christ Life. I uh-huh. feel like I am Christ like. Here I feel at home. Definitely. I feel at peace. You are. I feel welcome. I feel yeah. loved. And I want to be here every day, every time. Yes, you understand. Mm. You feel me. I know I, you know I do. This. I do feel. So, uh, earlier on, I heard you talking about music. Eh? Okay. Talking about music. <laughs> Tell us. I hear you can sing. I knew you'd ask that. Yeah, I hear you can sing. I've seen you sing. <laughs> Ah, that girl. Who is that girl? Unfortunately, enough when I found out that the person who sings is my tribe mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, so proud. I was so proud <laughs> and really glad to be yes. like you. But uh, I don't know whether the voice is the same. But <laughs> always the same. I can sample. But yeah. Jesus, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, but that's not enough. You already put people in the in the mood. So give them an acapella. <laughs> give them a gospel acapella. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, please, guys. So I love settle, this song. settle, settle, and Calm down, enjoy just... this. I trust her. <laughs> I trust her. Uh huh. Uh-huh. on your knees. Oh, he. Angels voices on night divine oh night when Christ was born. Wow, 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 Hallelujah. wow. Amen. 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 Okay. <laughs> when you see I was already going in spirit. So when you sing, 
<laughs> you've already confused me already I with, your, with your singing. You really, you really have a nice voice. Thank God Thank for you that. Very much. You I have a nice work. voice, mm-hmm. and uh, hope you do it for for the right thing. Okay. First, tell us why do you sing, and before we go to why do you sing, who inspires you to sing? You know, we always have someone we look up to. Yes. So, who inspires you to to sing? Because me, I love dancing and. Someone inspires me to dance. So, who so first tell us dance? who inspires <laughs> you to sing. <laughs> okay, um, I loved singing since I was a child. I would sing in my church. Uh, our young choir was called Hope of Heritage Band. Okay. So we'd always sing together and all that time. But I grew up. I listened to this artist. She's called Morissette Amon. So you have been in a band, a band before. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> Which is okay. I just listen to her. She um she sings from her heart. She sings it, she's not a gospel artist. Yeah. But she sings gospel songs as well. Those are the ones I really listen to. Yeah. But she sings them with a, a passion inside her that she loves what she's doing. You understand? Yeah. You know what you're doing. It's not a forced thing. She sings it from her heart and it's a passionate thing. What did you say her name was? You won't mention it, but it's called Morissette. Um, Maurice. Up, up, Maurice. 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 Not Maurice. Leave Maurice. No, I alone. thought like our uh, Maurice. Yeah. <laughs> it's Morissette Amon. Morissette Amon. Yes. Like parad. Pa. Pa. Okay. Let's leave it. I will say Morissette Amon. I understand. You. Uh, okay. How are you still telling us about her? Mm, yes. So um, she inspires me. So personally, why I sing? I sing. For many reasons, I love to sing. It makes me happy. Okay. You know, there are some people who, when they're angry, they eat food. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. That as yeah, well, they do. <laughs> some people just do it. Yeah. Yes, but I sing. It makes me happy, even when I'm kind of sad. Okay. Yeah, I listen to a song or two. I also sing because I want to minister. Yeah, that love God. That's love really a good point. Very you much. Sing to minister to others. Sing to change people's yes. souls, yes. which is good because you had almost changed. Actually, you were changing I mine actually. You. <laughs> you know <laughs> exactly. So I think you should really sing to minister to yes. sing, and you sing and change people's yes, hearts to the right path, mm-hmm. which is a very great thing. God bless you. God bless you too. Uh, so guys, this is the MC Live. We're live. Uh, Every Wednesday, what's the time? Five. Yeah. <laughs> five. Five. Five to six. <laughs> it's not really long. But don't forget to subscribe. Mm-hmm. We start uh, we start every day. Like every Wednesday at five to, to six. Yes. And it's the MC's mission communities in full. Mm-hmm. We usually do it uh, at home, like in groups, mm-hmm. cell. With snacks. Yeah, but because of this corona issue, mm-hmm. we, had, we decided to do it as a family, like families at home. We gather and share the word. Then later, when things get better, we shall be collecting a crowd. We shall be getting people together, people from different areas and joining in. And then we shall start having branches of our church. Amen. Yeah, so that's what we look up to. We look up to, uh, see, one shall become a thousand. a thousand. Actually, we look at 10,000. That's our mission, not just a thousand. 10,000. We want to become 10,000 by the end of this year, probably. Yes. Yeah, the end of this year, we want to become 10,000 to change people, to take people to the right direction. And you know, all will be well with Christ. You know, Amen. we don't do it on our own. It's always Him guiding us to do certain things. So, you know. But, uh, before we conclude, first show me one of those strokes you were doing. You had done something like a break dance. But don't break my bones. Okay. Like you've been put into a socket, then you know. <laughs> yeah, it feels like someone is forwarding me. 
Okay. So, so you do dance too? Eh, a little. Okay. No, it looks like it's a lot. It's okay. It looks like it's a lot, but it's also okay. <laughs> So okay. Yes. Yeah. You can teach me, I teach you. Which is okay. Yeah, but you are more complicated. complicated. Let me just teach you. Really? I'll understand your face. It's not really hard. It's not hard. Yeah. I'm just so it's just you're moving your body. As if you're like you're feeling the grace of God. Forget to do fast. Yes. People, I'm sure people are impatient. They mm. want to hear the word, you know. They want to get into that thing. Mm. No, good things come last. Mm. You have and to they be take patient. Time. Yeah, they take time. You yes. have to be patient. Good things come last, so you just wait until it's on a plate. It's on a silver plate. So let's. Uh, I want to welcome in our pastor to come and give us the word. So get your notebooks ready, get your pens, sit down, call a neighbor. Okay, we are not getting people from very far, but call a neighbor, call grandma, put her there, and let her listen to the word. Teach her some of these strokes we're doing. Some of them are not really hard. Some of them are not really hard, and we listen in for the word. I'm so happy to be doing this with my friend Tina. Tina, thank yes. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for talking to the people. It's really great. Yeah, have a nice time. Please learn something. Have a nice time. It has been a great, great time. I hope you enjoyed the great time of uh, dancing and fun just in the presence of God. That is all about MCs. Amen. At the MC, we have fun. We pray together. We play together. We eat. We dance. We simply enjoy the presence of God. Amen. So, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Nancy. You guys, you rock. You rock. You rock. Amen. Uh, I'm Pastor David. And I take this opportunity to welcome you to our MC Live in Jesus' name. This is the Christ Life. We are located at Buegere, opposite the UNBS headquarters. Yeah, we are there and the, uh, the goodness of God is here. God is growing us day by day by day by day. Praise the Lord. So I cannot forget to remind you that we are two years old now as a ministry and the Lord is blessing us. Amen. You know, uh, he told us in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22, that a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. Amen. Like Nancy said, we are growing to a thousand, not a thousand members only, but a thousand churches. And that is the prophecy I'm giving you today too. You are growing to a thousand, a thousand dollars a thousand houses, a thousand anointings, a thousand giftings and skills and everything that God has placed in you. God is, you know, it may look small now, but it's growing to more than a thousand and ten thousand and a million in Jesus' name. Do you believe it? Yeah, go ahead and believe it with me and it shall be so in Jesus' name. I want to send my love, my greetings to all the MC leaders. You guys, you're doing a great job. I will not mention names, but we are growing day by day. Thank you for the great work you are doing, the great work of discipleship and evangelism and loving people and caring and visiting them and praying for them and healing them and being the solution. Amen. The Bible tells us that we are the salt of the world. We are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. So let us share the light. Let us go on and season the earth. We are the salt of the earth. Amen. So today I want to talk about faith. Yes, faith. Faith, faith, faith. Oh, oh, wow. All of us have faith. You know, 
face is like a muscle. We all have these muscles. You know, I know, you know, these days guys go to the gym and like you come out feeling, wow, energize. Yeah. So faith is like the muscle that you have. When you put that muscle into action, into practice, and you, you take it for training, that muscle will go on and be strong and strong and strong and strong and strong. So that is how faith is. So today I want to talk about faith. Uh, faith is the positive response for what Christ did already. So the way you respond to what Christ did, if you do it positively, so that is faith. Amen. So Christ did it already for you and me. So when you choose to positively respond to it, then that is termed as faith. So you have faith in Christ because you are responding positively to what Christ did already on the cross. We are going to read a scripture in uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2 and verse 3. The Bible says that grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. So, God's divine power has given us all things, all things that pertain to life and to godliness. God's power has given us all things, all things that pertain to life and to godliness. So we, just think about that one thing that you think God has not given you. He has perfect health, prosperity, success, joy, happiness. Name it. He has given it already to you. Amen. So you need to connect your faith to what Christ has already given it to you. The Bible says he has already given to us all, all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through, this is the most important now on this scripture, through the knowledge of him. Through the knowledge of him. So what is the knowledge of him? That is his word. So how do you connect to his word? The Bible says that uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So, the, the, God's divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him. So, your knowledge of Him, that is through the Word of God. So, if you dwell on the Word and you have faith on the Word, then you have everything that He has given you. You have everything. So, it's not about Him now. He has played his part. He has given us all things. So now faith is now your part. Faith is yours. Faith is the way you respond to God's word. is very important. Praise the Lord. So faith is that connector to the promises of God. Faith is the, the positive connection. Faith is like a currency. The currency like here in Uganda we have shillings so we use shillings to do transactions so in heavenly language heavenly life faith is the currency faith is the heavenly dollar faith is that that thing that you connect on to the promise of God and you get your promises and you get your answers in Jesus' name praise the Lord so all the promises of God think about one all the promises of God for you, they are yes and amen. Just think about one. They are yes and amen. But they require that you connect by faith. By faith. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So I want to speak about two things today. One thing called the object of faith and the basis of faith. So the object of faith is that thing like I always give an example of a chair. A chair is an object. So when you choose to put your faith in that chair, and you, you, in your mind and in your spirit, you know that this chair is strong enough to hold me, you go on check that chair. Trust me, 
if you trust that chair and you know it is strong, you go ahead and sit on that chair and the chair will not make you fall. You will not stumble on that chair. So like you have faith in that object called the chair. Our faith is not in nothing. Our faith is in something. And that is Christ. That is Christ. That is God. So God becomes the object of our faith. We are sure that God, his character for us is positive. His, uh, his, the covenant he signed with us is everlasting. That is enough proof to persuade you to put your faith in that God. That he will not disappoint. He will not disappoint in Jesus' name. So we believe that this God can receive us as we are and take care of us in every good way. Praise the Lord. Like you put your, your weight on a chair, really, really believing that this chair will hold you. That's how you can trust God. And you put all your weight. The Bible says that cast all your burdens unto him. All your weights, all your burdens. He will handle. He will handle. He can handle. He can manage. He can handle it. He can handle whatever weight it is. Praise the Lord. I know for so many times we put our weight and our trust in things that can give way. Sometimes we put our, our trust and our weight and our faith in our friends, in the people. But people are not designed to carry our weight. People are not, let me tell you, your friend is not designed to carry your weight. Your husband is not designed to carry your problems. No. Your wife is not designed to carry your weight. Even your pastor was not designed to carry your weight. Cast all your burdens to Christ, to him. To him, his burden is light. Our, 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 for us people, our burdens are too heavy. So you are blaming your pastor for nothing. You are blaming your husband for nothing. You are blaming your friend for nothing. He was never designed to carry your burden. Never. He was not designed to carry your burden. It is God that was purposed. God purposed from purpose. From that, the Bible says that, that uh, he knew you even before you came in your mother's womb. So, so like, he's, he said everything. He, he, everything is preset for you to trust on him. So there's no amount of weight that you can throw to Christ and he says, no, this is too heavy. There's no amount of weight, there's no amount of guilt that you can throw to him and say, ah, ah, you guy, for you, yours, I, I, I cannot manage. There's no, there's no amount of uh, whatever you think, an amount of burden you can throw to Christ and say, no, this one I never died for him. I never died for him. I only died for small, small things. Whatever he can handle. Whatever. Whatever. Praise the Lord. Hey, and the good thing with God, he loves us. And I love the way he handles our situations. You know, God uh, somehow he receives you as if you are the only one going to him. So with God, there's no commotion. There's no like line, strong line, maybe big line. We are so many. No. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The way he receives you is like you are alone. Customized care for you alone. Just for you alone. That's the amount of love our God has for us. So stop casting your burdens to people. Stop casting your problems to people. We cannot hold. We are not God. It is God that has been designed that purpose to receive you. Praise the Lord. And he does it because of love. Because you are a child. When you are a child, your dad, the Baganda have a saying that um, it's in Uganda. That saying says uh, an elephant cannot fail to lift the burden of its um, these things, what are they called? Tusks or are they the tusks or or ivory? <laughs> ivory, the, the byproduct, end product of the tusk. So an elephant cannot fail to lift the weight of its its burdens. So your father cannot cannot fail to lift the burden because you are the son. You know that 
that, that story of a, a, a child who was in a burning house. The house was burning. It was a storied house. So fire all over the place. Fire brigade came. Ambulances came. Soldiers came. Uh, people came. And they told that young boy, jump. You are going to burn in the fire. The boy was simply crying. Please jump. The boy was simply crying. Because he never had a relationship with these people. I, I know they could give him part of the solution, but there was no relationship. Praise the Lord. I know he would see the, the fire brigade, all those cars, whatever. The boy could not trust without relationship. But when the father of the boy came, the father came without any gear on him. And he simply said, my son, I'm going to hold you jump. The son jumped because of the father. Praise the Lord. So our God, we are sure of our God's character for us. We are so sure. We are so sure. That's why we can fully trust him and make him the object of our faith. If you fully trust on God, trust me, he will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint you. He will not. Praise the Lord. So the second thing, the first thing is the object of your faith. So the second one is the, the basis of our faith. What is the basis of our faith? Praise the Lord. So our faith is not based on hearsay. Our faith is not based on uh, old man's stories. Our faith is not based on facts. No. Our faith, faith is not based on uh, good stories or good advice. Our faith is based on the promises of God. Our faith is based on the good news of God. You know there's a difference between good news and good advice. So many times people love to give us good advice. You know, guy, you, I, we know you are going through this, but now, you know, when you do A, B, C, D, E, these 25 power principles will help you get out of your problems. But I want to tell you, someone else has tried those 25 power principles and it has not worked. The only power principle that works is the one that is based on the word of God. So when you base your faith on the true word of God, trust me, you will not fail. That's why the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. The word of God. Praise the Lord. So no matter what other people say, what does the word say? No matter what the doctors are saying, what does the word say? No matter what the, the, the analysts on the finances say, what does the Bible tell you? So, where do you want to base your faith? Do you want to base your faith on the facts? Or you want to base your faith on the truth? Praise the Lord. They don't care about facts. Facts, about, facts are good. But then from morning to evening, the TVs, the radios are giving us facts. This one has did this. Uh, the, the, the percentage, the per, a whole percentage of people are like this. But you know, the heart of God is light. The heart of God is life. So everything we, are, we want, everything God has packaged for us is through that knowledge of Him, through the Word of God. The Word. How I love the Word of God. Praise the Lord. He is, our God is the miracle worker. There's no doctor that will tell you that God is the miracle worker. No. A doctor is going to give you the facts. And he's, he's, going to, he's going to announce to you that now, according to the tests have made, the fact is you are really, really, really sick. That is the doctor's report. But what does the report of God say in your situation? I have sent my word and I have healed your diseases. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the bound say, I am free. Amen. That is the beauty of the word of God. Ha! Well, you guys, you know what? How I, 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 I believe that we should. I am so fully persuaded. 
that when you put your trust on the word of God, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Praise the Lord. God can handle all your weight. He can handle all your situations. He can. Praise the Lord. So the promises of God are yes and amen. So he has given us all the things we need for life and godliness. Everything as pertains to life and godliness, you have it already. A story I, I always love to tell. You know, I'm a football match. I, I'm a football, uh, a f- football supporter. I, uh, and uh, let me give us simply a small analogy. Think about a match between uh, the obvious, obvious teams, Manchester United, the team I support, and the obvious <laughs> case, Arsenal. So, Manchester United uh, beats Arsenal. When, when Manchester United beats Arsenal, it is a 3-0. Um, who scores now? Rashford scores. Um, Pogba scores two goals. So it ends 3-0. Manchester United has beaten Arsenal. Three goals to nil. You know, you know Arsenal is beatable. So that's why I love to give examples on Arsenal. So what happens is you have watched the match. The match has ended. And actually that match happened two years ago. So now you are home on your screen and you are watching a rematch. You, you, are, you are really watching a recorded video of the match. You understand? So you are the man you support now. So you are watching Arsenal playing, man you playing, and as they play, somewhere somehow Arsenal gets the ball and they are like near the, the the, the, the goal of Manchester United, they are about to score. I want to tell you, do you fear or you don't fear? You don't fear because you know that the match has already ended. Actually, this is a recorded match. The match ended and Arsenal never scored. That's the same thing. The match ended. Jesus Christ died, was buried, went to captivity, got arrested, the devil. And he made him powerless. He, made, he got the devil and put him under our feet. The devil never scored. It remained a, z- a three-nil match. So in life, as you go through life, there are situations that will come and you think the devil is going to score. No, the match already ended. The devil never scored. He never. Praise the Lord, he never. So what situation comes to you and you think, eh, maybe the devil is going to score a goal. Maybe I'm going to be defeated. Maybe I'm going to die. Maybe this thing. No, you will not. Praise the Lord. When you read the word of God, Jesus overcame the devil. Jesus overcame Satan. Praise the Lord. And he won the victory for you and for me. Jesus won the victory for you and me. So you are not fighting for that victory. You are actually not looking for that victory. You already have the victory. You simply need to connect to that victory through faith. Amen. So I'm simply telling us that what is your ob- what's the object of your faith? Is it God? If, you, if the object of your faith is somewhere else, better turn to God because he is the only one that is trusted and has been tested. He is the only true God who can carry your burden. Your friend is not designed to carry your burden. Your best friend is not desi- designed to, to be your to be your solution. No, never. Praise the Lord. So, what's the basis of your faith? Is it the word of God? Or is it hearsay? Or it is just, uh, you know, naysayers? Or it is, um, what is it called? Experience or history? Or, you know, as it happened at that time? No! Praise the Lord. God has a million ways in which he can work. He's a miracle worker. He's a will maker. And he loves us. As I wind up, I want to give opportunity to you who is watching me and you don't know Christ. Maybe you are saying, you guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I have friends who are Christians, but me, uh, that's far-fetched. I want to tell you it is so simple for you to receive Christ in your heart. Very simple. The Bible says you confess with your mouth, you believe, it, you believe with your heart and you confess with your mouth and you'll be saved and your life will totally be different. I also want to pray for you, my brother or my sister, who is going through something. And you feel you need God close to you. You need God in your situation. Just humble yourself and we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit.
my brother who is watching me, I commit my sister, I commit everyone who is watching. Father, I pray that you shall come to them. You shall meet them at the point of their need. Whatever that issue is, O King of Kings. Lord, I pray that you shall meet them at their point of need. That you shall be the solution to them. Father, for so long they've put their trust in things that they have been disappointed. But Lord, you do not disappoint. I welcome you in their hearts. Come and do a miracle for them. In Jesus' name, amen. So let me give you opportunity if you want to give in the house of God. Praise the Lord. You know, church is not a building, so you can give even online. You know, you can send in your, uh, the numbers on your screen. You can send in your, bom- your mobile money, your Airtel, your MTN, or you can even copy that uh, bank bank account number and you you know send in your seed send in your support we really need you to stand with us so that the great work that you are seeing here goes on and on and on and on and on up to the ends of the earth praise the lord so don't also forget to share this video and like and send in your comment we love you we love you and we bless the lord for you god bless you so much amen bye bye